tonight that we were, you know, we're now 20 and four at home, um, I guess in the last three years. And so, and some of those four losses were to some pretty good folks. And so, you know, to be 20 and four at home is something we can definitely build on in, in preparation for a big game next week. Uh, you, you mentioned that big game next week. Uh, what did you see from your team uh, today that you, that you were most proud of? Well, I mean, I continue to see, you know, special teams is really obviously helping, you know, and, and uh, Bruno's doing an excellent job. I think you can kind of see when things don't go right in the punt team, how it can really hurt you. And so, you know, I was very happy for Bruno and, and, and you can't take anything away from, from West, who's our deep snapper. I mean, we're just very lucky to have two really great ones right there. And our special teams, I thought our kickoff unit really did better. And then you know I thought Brady played pretty well. You know I thought he I thought he did some good things. I mean they they caused a lot of problems with what they did defensively, which you know was just you know is going to happen sometimes. But overall I thought our offense did really well. And then defensively, uh, you know I thought they played really hard. You know we got some pressure on the quarterback and and uh, settled in there and played pretty good football. Uh, and lastly, you mentioned that game, the big game next week. Everybody's got a circuit on their calendars. What's your mindset being able to host host that team in mm. Montana State? Well, I mean, this is huge. Uh, I mean, this is a team that uh, has been, you know, I think back to back, if not back. I know they're two times Big Sky champion. And, you know, it's a very, very talented, very, very good football team that, uh, you know, with 12 seconds left, nearly beat SMU, you know, at SMU. So it kind of gives you the caliber opponent we're getting ready to play. And so, you know, I think, thank goodness we're playing at home. And thank goodness we'll be getting some guys back, you know, that have been, that were not healthy this past weekend after the Texas Tech game. But, uh, you know, home field advantage, you know, we need, we need a great crowd. We need a, we need a lot of energy. And, and uh, you know, I think our players really, you know, respond, you know, to that type of environment. But, I mean, this is a playoff game. Uh, this, is, this is a team that uh, is, is more than likely going to be in the playoffs or a top five team. And, and uh, I mean, they're coming to Nacogdoches. And so uh, it's really special, you know, to be able to get uh, this team. I know last year when we went there, the crowd, the atmosphere, you know, up at their place was incredible. I think they had 20,000 plus people. Um, I mean, it was just a big time college football environment, and they're a big college football team. So we got our work cut out for us.